Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be changing some things about the log, um, like adding the ability to show or hide the log, and also um, adding the ability to hook the log to our form. So let's say this window is our form. Whenever this is moved around, the log is going to be moved around and connected to it. So before we get started, I just want to apologize for some of the logic errors in my last tutorials, um, such as in the first two game tutorials and then tutorial 159. Um, for the most part, I was making up this game as I was going along. And I wanted to do that because if I went ahead and pre-wrote the code before I did it, first of all, it would take a really long time, and second of all, it would make it seem to you guys that like whenever you're making a program, you're going to come up with the best, most efficient code with no errors at first. And that's not realistic to what programming is like. You, When you're programming, you come up with ideas as you go along, you come up with better ways, and you will run into logic errors um, that don't actually show up um, in your error list because it's something that you did wrong, or in, in this case, I did wrong, and it's nothing has nothing to do with the compiler or the program. So I wanted to just apologize for that. Um, I did fix those in tutorial 160. Um, you can see that I added some uh, annotations to the tutorials where the errors were created so that I won't get trolled in the comments. So now that we got that out of the way, um, let's go ahead and we will hook our log to the form one. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the position of new log. So new log dot location is going to be equal to a new point. Now a point is a point that has, it has x and y coordinates because the location property for any form is going to be of type point. So we have to create a new point. And the location is going to be me dot location dot x. So what this is going to do is it's going to get the x location of the current form which is form 1. So the x location of new log is going to be the same x location as form 1. So the x location would be across. So we want it to be the same across um, as it is form 1. So it'll be a straight line down each of the sides. So we got me dot location dot x and then for the y coordinate, we'll do me dot location dot y, but we need to subtract some from it. So let's open up the designer for form one dot vb, and you can see that the size uh, 457 across, 328 down. So let's go ahead and try 328. So the y location, and we want to add 328 because all coordinates start from the top left corner of the screen and they go forward. You cannot have negative coordinates. So it's not like a normal grid where it is um, across with a point in the middle and then it has negative coordinates. The point in the middle would be the top left corner of your screen. So let's go ahead and try plus 328. So it's going to set the coordinates of our new log to just below our form 1 and it's going to be touching the form 1. But what if they move form 1? Well, we want to move that um, log with it. So we'll go ahead and click the lightning bolt on this. And we need to find the move event. So you can see here, we got move. So whenever form 1 has moved, we will, we will set new log dot location equals, and then we'll do a new point and it'll do me.location.x and then me.location.y and then we're going to add 328. So every time it's moved, it's going to update the location. So hopefully everything will work he well here and we won't get any logic errors. Um, so you can see that here is our game and here is our log. And you can see that the log is touching right to the bottom of the game. And when we move the game around, you can see that the log is attached to the game and it moves with it. So this is something very useful, very cool that I figured out 
Um, if you've ever used TeamViewer, you've probably wondered how they did that. Well, this is um, a similar method and it works the same way. But then you can also move this log away um, from the game. It looks like I shook it there. And so, but then once you move the game again, it resets it back to the original position which is connected to it. And it'll function just like normal.